Kavleen, Anayat, Madhav. Hello, children. Welcome to your English class, not EBS class. Welcome to your English class. Today, today is 12th October 2020 and day is Monday. We are discussing our chapter 4 from English grammar that is describing words. And password for today is tall and short. Two describing words. One is tall and one is short. In page number 25, new textbook, there is a concept called opposites. So today we are going to discuss what are opposites. Well, uh, coming to this topic, opposites, Pranay, Bhagya and Yash all together. Hi children, welcome to your English grammar class. Today our concept is opposites. Opposites is not a new concept to you. But the thing is, we did opposites as a small part in our English reader textbook. Today, we are going to learn opposites as a big topic where you can learn more describing words and more opposites. Well, I'm going to put some questions because you are familiar with the topic, right? Opposites is not uh, an entirely new topic to you. You are to some extent familiar with this topic. So, I want to put some questions and you need to answer to my questions. Okay? I'm going to draw some pictures and you need to tell me what the picture is about. Hi, Anahita. Welcome to your English grammar class. Look at this picture and tell me what do you, <laughs> yes, boy and a girl. How can you say this picture is picture of a boy and this picture is picture of a girl? Well, when you look at the pictures, the pictures what I have drawn are not a very clear pictures of a boy and a girl. But when you are seeing these two pictures together, then you are able to recognize the pictures. Because with this picture, you may, if I have drawn only this picture, then you may not identify this as a boy. But because this picture is also there along with this picture, right? This picture is also there along with this picture. So, you are able to identify clearly that with hair, with the appearance of the hair and something like frog, you are able to identify this as a girl. So, you are saying this is a boy. If this is a girl, and this would be a boy. Because we don't have any frock and hair is standing like this, like sun rays. So, boy and a girl. Now, tell me, are these both same? Are these both same? Boy and a girl are same. What do you think? 
many boys are there and girls are also there kavleen is there anayat is there anahita is there girls are there as well as many boys are there madhav is there bhagya yash is there do you think this and this boy and girl are these both same yes kavleen no these both are not same because with the very clear identification with the appearance uh with the appearance of the body and the dress and with the hair style we can make out that this picture is a boy and this picture is a girl so i want to tell you that why am i drawing these pictures for opposites i'm drawing these pictures for opposites because i want to tell you that opposites are the words which don't carry same meaning opposites are the words opposites are the words which do not or don't carry the same meaning okay now ma'am what do you mean by words which don't carry the same meaning what do you mean by this let me take two more words like p r e t t y pretty and b e a u t i f u l beautiful pretty and beautiful you are already aware of this pretty and beautiful words these words are not entirely new to you and what is pretty and what is beautiful pretty means charming and looking beautiful and what is beautiful beautiful means charming attractive and looking pretty it means pretty and beautiful carry the same meaning hi visual pretty and beautiful p r e t t y pretty equals to beautiful which means both carry the same meaning but when it comes to opposites opposite opposite are the words which don't carry the same meaning opposites are the words which don't carry the same meaning they are completely different from each other the meaning of the words are completely different from each other again i repeat meaning of the words are completely different from each other and i'm going to i'll stop all my theory part now let's directly jump into the example so that you will understand very quickly because you are already familiar with the topic let me keep this pretty and beautiful pretty and beautiful now tell me i'll show you something huh. see if you look at this okay if you look at this soft toy a uh, a bear a soft toy so you can see that here are two bears yes one is one is big and one is small one is big and the other is small so what i'm saying this is big this is big b i g big and this is small 
This is small. Yes. S M A L L small. Now tell me, are these both same? Are these both same in size? No. This is big in size. This is small in size. It means big. The meaning of big cannot be equal to the meaning of small. Okay. Both are opposite to each other. Meaning of big is different. Meaning of small is different. Big is entirely a different meaning. And small is entirely a different meaning. Fat, thin, yes. So, these both are completely different in appearance in size okay so the words which are completely different in their meaning are called opposites one more look at this look at this box okay the box has a cap okay this is a lid when i open what am i saying what am i saying Open. Open. It means there is no cap. It is not covered. Open. Now this is close. Open and close. Right? Open. O-P-E-N. Open is this. Open. Now Close. Close means this. So, open is different. Close is different. Right? So, open and close. Open and close. Next. Look at this. Look at this box. This box has earbuds inside. And this box is full. This box is full. So what am I saying? F-U-L-L. -L, full. So opposite of full. Opposite of full is empty. Empty. What is opposite of full? Empty. Empty means a box which has Nothing. There is nothing inside. Nothing. Empty. Empty. E -M -P -T -Y. E-M-P-T-Y. Empty. So this is, this is full. This is empty. This is full. Full. If you are little full. This is empty. Full and empty are opposites. Now, look at this cloth. Look at this cloth. Now compare these two. Look at this cloth. This is clean. This is, this is clean. C-L-E-A-N, clean. And look at this cloth. This is this is dirty. 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 D I R T Y. Dirty. It means this is clean and this is clean and this is dirty. Clean. Dirty. Yes. This is clean and this is dirty. Both are Completely different words. Clean and dirty. Look at this now. Mm. Look at this pencil. What is the color of this pencil? What is the color of this pencil? White. White. W-H-I-T-E. White. So... What is the color of this pencil? 
this pencil hi adhya welcome to your english grammar class yes black 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 b l a c k black white black white black white and black both are opposite colors they are not at all same both are opposite colors white and black and now this one mk fibicol i'm just putting this in the box okay now this is where in this is inside the box in 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 okay inside or you call it inside in and while remove it then where is it where is it out out yes out o u t out out this is in in when i take out this this is out in out in out so in and out are opposites in and out are opposites they are not same they are not same now i will show you something else see again i am showing you two pencils okay two pencils look at look at this how is the point of the pencil look at the first pencil the point of this this pencil is sharp sharp okay sharp the point is sharp this pencil has a sharp point so i am writing sharp s h a r p sharp and how is the point of this pencil point of this pencil this is yes i am coming to that this is blunt blunt this is not sharp blunt the point is blunt blunt b l u n t blunt b l u n t blunt so this is sharp blunt sharp and this is blunt look at this surface this is edges sharp this is very sharp okay and this is blunt sharp and blunt now let's come to the other one after this i'm writing here okay look at these two and and tell me one is video is blur i'll i'll continue with my lecture let's see if it's still going to be blur then i will stop it okay ma'am are you able to hear my voice is my voice clear is my voice clear look at this pictures okay thank you look at this pictures this is long okay thank you this is long and look at this this is this pencil is long so let me write long here l o n g long so opposite of long is opposite of long is short 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 s h 
O R T shut S H O R T shut long and short long and short okay so now i want to tell you long and short and today our password is tall and short so let me take this word tall t a l l tall and what would be the opposite of tall what is the opposite of tall opposite of tall is again short s h o r t short long short okay tall and short now if you ask me what is the difference between long and tall then i can tell you that the difference between long and tall is usually tall we say something is tall if it is going straight up like this okay a vertical line if it is going something straight up then we say this is tall if something is going like this then we say this is long okay if a man is because we are human beings right man woman we stand like this we stand like this right so we say tall man tall woman even a building goes up like this even a building if you see an apartment then it is built like this it goes up first floor second floor third floor fourth floor fifth floor sixth floor it goes straight vertical up like this so if anything a shape is going straight up it means it is tall if anything is going in this manner horizontal this is horizontal line okay what do you call a sleeping line if something is a sleeping line and then we say it is long we say long okay and tall building b u i l d i n g tall building tall man tall woman tall building and tall tree tall tree coconut is a tall tree right because it goes straight up like this from down it goes straight up and if you hold a scale or a pencil you say it is long or even if you hold a rope in your hand we say it is long we don't say rope is tall we say it is long okay this is l o n g long and something going right up is t a l l tall okay now let me explain you the same with a small picture uh let me erase this you have two roads this way okay one road is like this okay children this is one road road number 1 okay this is another road okay this is another road this is road road number 2 when you compare the road number 1 and road number 2 you can see that the road number 1 is narrow what do we call n a r r o w narrow because the space between this and this 
यहाँ स्पेस देखो स्पेस इज नॉट वाइड ज्यादा स्पेस नहीं है इट इज नैरो रोड दिस इज अरो रोड बिकॉज देर इज नो स्पेस ओके एंड दिस यू कैन कॉल इट वाइड नैरो वाइड और यू कैन कॉल इट ब्रॉड बी आर ओ ए डी ब्रॉड लुक एट दिस रोड एंड लुक एट दिस रोड दिस इज नैरो यहां स्पेस बहुत कम है सो बी से इट इज अ नैरो रोड एंड वेन यू कम हियर यहां स्पेस ज्यादा है सो बी से इट इज ब्रॉड और वाइड सो नैरो एंड वाइड आर ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर नैरो वाइड नैरो वाइड और नैरो एंड ब्रॉड नैरो एंड ब्रॉड सो दीज आर कॉल ऑपोजिट बिग स्मॉल ओपन क्लोज फुल एम टी क्लीन डर्टी वाइट ब्लैक इन आउट sharp blunt long long short long short tall short long short tall and short and one more is day and night day day d a y day and n i g h t night day we have sun and night we have moon night we have moon and stars day and night so all these are describing words all these are describing words what are we doing is we are looking at something i am looking at this and i am describing this i am looking and i am describing and i am saying this is big and this is small i am describing and i am comparing i am comparing we are looking at something it means we are observing then we are describing and we are comparing so when we are comparing then we are coming to know that the words which carry different meanings are all opposites because they are not same they are not same so this is about describing words opposites i hope this topic is clear to you and if possible i will be sending one more video of the describing words especially the opposites okay so i want you to read this page number in page number 25 you have the describing words which are opposites please go through this and read each and every opposite okay many opposites are there in your textbook please go through them okay children and until then take care meet you again tomorrow tata bye